Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I did a cut crease look and it looks like this. It's very, it's kind of dramatic if you make it very dramatic, but with the lashes, I feel like you kind of have to wear this very dramatically. Um, I went nude on the lips and I used the Modern Renaissance palette. So if you want to get this look, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so we are going to start off with always priming our eyes and I use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pots and I just take a good amount and I place them all over my eyelids. Now I'm going to take Tempera from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just going to dust that all over our base just to make sure that we have an even base and to set that um, cream uh, primer. Now we're going to go ahead and take the color Burnt Orange on a very fluffy brush and we're just going to dust that all over the crease. So this color is going to be our transition color and you don't really have to be very clean with it. Just make sure you get a very opaque color or however intense that you want that color to show. And um, yeah. Then I'm going to go in with Venetian Red on a smaller dome brush and I'm just going to tap it off and place it below the transition color so you can still see that color um, in the crease pretty much and I'm just following the same um, area that I placed the transition color and I'm just putting it underneath as you can see. This color can be kind of scary to work with because if you put too much then it'll look um, too scary but what I did was I went back in with that bigger fluffier brush that we first uh, used when we laid down that first color and I just went over that just to soften it out and to make sure that there is no harsh lines and just make sure everything looks blended and seamless and throughout this process you will see me doing it uh, multiple times because I just don't like that very harsh look and as you can see like it makes it look more seamless and blended all together then I'm going to dip my brush into the color Love Letter and I'm going in with an even smaller dome brush and I'm, I'm just placing that in the same position, so in the crease, um, but a little bit lower just to give it more dimension because um, I want it to be very um, pinkish as you can see and I'm just using windshield wiper motions. Now comes the fun part, uh, I'm going to take the MAC Soft of Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to take a very thin flat brush and I'm just going to carve out that cut crease as you can see um, I'm moving very slowly um, and uh, yeah I'm just cutting out that crease all the way through my eyelid though so um, you will see later on that it goes all the way through. And then once again on the other side, just making sure that it matches the same cut crease size as the um, first eye because you don't want to look wonky, guys. Um, so yeah, and then just make sure you go all the way through. And this is why we do the eyes first because if we did the face first, then it kind of would have been messed up a little bit because um, the concealer would be a little pink on the outer end since we're mixing the eyeshadows and the concealer. So it's a good thing that we're doing the eyes first. I'm just going to take a little pencil brush and I'm going to darken out that cut crease um, area a little bit more. Um, I just want it more defined so I'm taking the color love letter and I'm just placing more colors where, that, um, where we cut the crease and where the actual eyeshadow color shows up. Then I'm just going to take a thin blending brush and take the color Venetian Red and just blend that out a little bit more because I don't just want that harsh line that I just created. I want to make it look a little bit more blended. But the thing is with this color, it kind of had a little bit of fallout. So it was kind of falling onto the concealer that I just used to cut my lid. And um, so I will go back onto my lid and conceal that again with the concealer, which is not a big deal. But... Just be aware that if you do do that, um, it'll create some fallout. 
And then once again, I'm going to take a medium sized dome brush and I'm just going to take the color burnt orange and I'm going to run that through the tops of it just to blend it out a little bit more since we already do have the shape and everything. I just wanted to um, create more dimension and make sure that everything is blended and smoothed out. Now I'm going to just uh, go in with tempera and a flat shader brush and I'm just going to place that on the cut on the lids where we did cut the crease and I'm just going to use this color to set that um, concealer. I know I kind of waited too long but it didn't crease so um, it's just our, our base color for our lids and um, as you can see it does clean up the look a lot and it's a very matte shade so... I really like it so much. Then I'm going to take this Sephora um, Felt Tip Black Eyeliner. I just got it today and I'm going to use that to wing out my eyeliner. Moving on to the face, I'm going to take my NYX Shine Killer and I'm just going to place that first in my T-zone, so my nose area, and then my forehead, and then down my chin. Then I'm going to take my Infallible Pro Matte Total Cover Foundation and I'm just going to um, put stripes on my face and then blend it out with a big kabuki brush. Then I'm going to conceal using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I just got it today um, but I've tried it before and I've had a really bad experience with it so I'm giving it another shot and I'm going to try using this for concealer. And then this time I'm going to blend it out with a damp um, beauty blender sponge because I just washed it. And then I decided that I was going to cream contour and I just took, I ordered a darker color so I think this color is toast and um, I placed it on my face but I did not know how much products I just placed on my face and I kind of had a panic attack because I didn't know what to do. Like, what the fuck, guys? Do you guys see that? Oh my god, I put way too much product on. I was like, what the hell do I do? So, I think I just washed my sponge off. And then I came back and I just decided to um, dab it off with more water since the sponge soaked it in. But I was like, damn, I didn't know how um, much product I actually put on my head. I mean, on my face. And then since I wanted to bring back more light, I went back in with that LA Girl um, Pro Conceal and I just um, placed some to lighten up my face a little bit more. And then I baked with my trusty Cody Airspun and I just placed it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And thank God it actually turned out better than what I thought and like everything did blend out because if not, I would have been screwed and I had to do all my makeup all over again. I just placed some airspun on the sides uh, to just clean up that contour because it kind of, I thought it kind of looked a little um, messy down there because of the beauty blender that I used and I had literally no control over it. So I just used that, beauty, that blender just to um, clean it up a little bit. <laughs> So for my waterline, I just went with the same colors on the top as the same um, colors on the bottom and I went in with burnt orange and then I went in with um, Venetian red and then love letter and I just blended everything out together using my pencil brush from Morphe. Then I lined my waterline with a nude color pencil from Rimmel London. After that, I just dusted everything off using um, a dome, a long dome shaped, shaped brush and um, yeah. 
Then I went in with my telescopic L'Oreal mascara in black and I just used that to blend in my real lashes with the false lashes. But damn, look at my head. Any higher mix? Any higher? And then I went in um, with that same uh, mascara with my lower lashes. And I like this brush because it gets every hair. And it kind of coats it and it makes it look longer. So I recommend, guys. And then it totally took me forever to realize that I did not set my cream contour. So I went in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I just went over the same places that I did the cream contour and then for a second I thought my forehead looked a little bit too dark so I went in with that banana color from the shade and light palette and I just placed it all over my forehead and then I realized I looked too bright there so I had to go back in with the same contour color and I just blended it out and then I contoured my nose with the cream, so I was like, why not just go over it with the freaking powder? So I did that with a very uh, tapered um, brush. And yeah, I don't know if it makes a difference to my nose because I already have a flat nose, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Then I went in with my Becca Champagne Pop, Pop Highlighter and a very fluffy brush and I just placed it on the tops of my cheeks you see that glow girl you see that glow and then I went in with fix plus and it's not that I felt very pottery today it, from all the creams that I've used um, I don't know I just wanted to spray my face because it just feels good as for the lips, I went in with Lolita at first, but I didn't end up liking it, and then I decided to take it off, so I went in with Kat Von D's um, Bow and Arrow instead, and I really like all these looks either way, but whatever suits you is what's best, and that completes the look, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe.